Hi, second grade students. Today I'm going to share a PowerPoint with you about how to write a friendly letter. I know you were learning about friendly letters before school got out. So I want to review with you the five different parts of a friendly letter. And I'm hoping that at the end of the PowerPoint, you will be writing your own letter to me. Bear with me while I share my screen. And I'm also going to minimize myself so that we can concentrate on just the PowerPoint. So remember, we're gonna review how to write a friendly letter. There are five parts of a friendly letter. The first part is the date. Then we have the greeting, the body, the closing, and lastly, the signature. Now I want you to just sit back and relax and listen to the letter that I wrote you. Please follow along. Dear second grade students, how are you all feeling? I know that your teachers miss you very much. They have spent a lot of time creating lessons for you to do on your computer at home. We want to make sure that you keep up the good learning in all of your subjects. The brain needs to be exercised every day. Speaking of exercise, we also wonder what you are doing to fill your days with some fun. Are you getting outside for some fresh air? Are you trying to do a little exercise like jumping jacks or any of the other moves that Coach Cap has taught you? I have been going on long walks with my family when it's nice out, and sometimes I even go for a run. I would love, really love to get a letter from each of you. Maybe you could let me know what kinds of things you have been doing with your family while away from school. Maybe you could tell me what you miss most about school. Being pen pals with you would be really fun. Please write, email your letters to Mazza B at springfieldpublicschools.com. Your teacher and friend, Mrs. Mazza. Now we're going to look at that letter again, but we're going to take it apart in its five pieces so that we can really think about the way that you need to set up your letter so that you do it correctly. Remember, I said the first part of the letter is the date. The date goes up in the top right-hand corner of the paper, or if you're doing it on the computer, on your Word document, but it's on the right-hand side. I wrote this letter on May 5th, 2020. Notice that I have a comma here separating the day from the year. You need that comma as well. The next part of our letter is called the greeting. It goes down one line from the date over onto the left-hand side. Both the date and the greeting get their own lines. My greeting again was dear second grade students. Please notice that I put a comma after dear second grade students. Again, you have not punctuated your letter correctly if you don't have a comma after your greeting. This is the longest part of your letter. Depending on how much you have to say, depends on how long your letter is going to be. It's called the body of your letter. The body of my letter happens to be three paragraphs long. You can tell that it's three paragraphs because I ended one paragraph and left all this space because when I start a new one, I go down a line and I indent. This paragraph goes all the way to here. I've left space and then I go down a line and indent again. My body of my letter ends right here. The fourth part of your letter is called the closing. This is where you would kind of bring everything that you've had to say to a nice, polite close. I happen to say your teacher and friend. Lots of times people write things like sincerely, yours truly, 
love, whatever you feel like you need to put at the end of your letter for a closing is what you would write there. I want you to notice that I've separated my closing from my body. Again, this is probably just one line under your body. It doesn't have to be way down at the bottom of the paper, but it does need to have its own line. This way, the person who's reading your letter knows that you've come to a close. And again, there's that comma. You need to make sure that you use a comma at the end of your closing because that's the correct way to punctuate your letter. Lastly, you have your signature. Your signature is just a fancy word for your name. You're the one writing the letter, so your name goes at the bottom of it. I wrote this letter, so my name is at the bottom of this one. Depending on how well you know the person that you're writing to, you might just have to put your first name, or you may have to put your first and last name. Most of all, I can't wait to get letters from you. I really want you to try to write me a letter. You can either write it in a Word document, save it, and attach it to an email to me. Or if it's easier for whoever you're at home with to take a picture of your letter, you can email the picture of your letter to me as well. I hope I get a lot of them. Thank you so much. And that, boys and girls, is how you write a friendly letter. Bye.